Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can allow your site visitors to book appointments with you directly from your website using both Web Starts and then a booking app called Calendly. So here you're looking at my web page and I have these different dates and on each of these dates, I have time slots where my site visitors can book an appointment with me. When they click on the date, they're displayed the available time slots where they can book these appointments. So when they click on it, they can click this confirm button and then that appointment is added to both my calendar and their calendar and they're also sent a reminder and I'm sent a reminder. So it's really helpful for keeping organized with your clients and booking things like meetings and tours and so on and so forth. So let me show you how I set that up and then how I added it to my Web Starts website. Going over to Calendly, you'll need to sign up for an account. Now I've already done that, so I'm looking at my Calendly dashboard. I've got my event or my meeting that I've given the name Wedding Venue Tour because that's what I'm doing. And when I click on it, you'll see a drop down menu and then I can choose to edit that particular event. Now you have several different things that you can do here. I'm just going to cover some of the basics, like for example, setting up your available times. So click on when can people book this event and you'll see that you're able to take blocks of time and then make yourself available either on a recurring basis or a one-time basis during that block of time. So for example, if I wanted to add Monday as a recurring time from 2 to 4 p.m. I would enter that into the uh, fields provided and click apply and then people would be able to go to my website and choose that time slot for their meeting or their booking. I'm going to go ahead and delete that since I don't want that available on my site. Now once you've set up your calendar and you're ready to go be sure to click save and close and then your changes will be applied. I'm not going to save my changes right now because I already have my calendar set up just the way I want. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how to actually embed that into a Web Starts website. Okay, so from my dashboard, I click on event types and then I go over here and I find this cog icon. I click on it and I choose the embed option. There are three different embed options. I'm going to be demonstrating the inline option, but you can also select to create a pop-up widget or pop-up text on your website by copying and pasting the code for the appropriate effect. So back to the inline widget, I select the code that's available to me here. It's called embed code and I copy that to my clipboard by pressing command C or if you're on a PC, control C or of course you can right click, click copy. Moving over to my Web Starts website, let me show you how I added that widget to the page. I went up to apps, I clicked embed code, I agreed that I understand how to use code, and I pasted the provided code in the field. I clicked OK, and then I resized my embedded Calendly app by using the handles, and you can also drag and drop this where you would like it to appear on your page. Once you're ready, click Save and those changes are saved and published to your website. And now people can come to your web page and they can choose a date and a time that they would like to book an appointment with you. That's it for this video. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website and also see more helpful videos like this.